Alrighty, hello everyone. This is Dominic, aka Domix from Tumblr, and so I've decided from some of your recommendations. Uh, some of you um, asked me to try Hypercam. Um, someone recommended uh, Demo Creator, and um, those two were pretty good, except um, the fluidity of the mouse was. Uh, it wasn't really what I expected, so. Um, I tried out Cam Studio and it the quality was a little better. I mean, all of them uh, relatively had pretty good resolution and sound quality, but um, this one stood out the most. So, all right, so let's get this mini tutorial started. I, I really didn't plan this out, so I'm just make, making this up as I go. All right, so I'm just gonna. How's that? Okay, so. Um, uh, from what you guys know, I use Adobe Flash from the CS3 suite. It's just just gonna load that up, and I usually start with Create New and um, Action Script 3. Just full screen that. So you're given this single panel, and at the top you can see that there are multiple frames that you could work with. And basically, what I do is. Um, with my comics is that when I draw each panel I draw each one on a separate frame and then once I have them all at the end I'll make a new frame which will contain all of the panels that I drew and I'll just organize it on that and then export it so I'll just do a quick walkthrough okay so here's a, my, my little canvas and on the side here are your basic toolbars. Um, I usually just use the paintbrush and the eraser, but you can play around a bit with the tools. Um, some basic shortcuts you should know is that B is for brush, E is for erase, T for text, and you know, you could figure it out. So you can adjust your um, brush the brush size here and your eraser size. So let's just draw. A uh, simple face here. Simple smiley face with creepy pupils, I guess. And let's make him say hey. Hey. Alright. And what I'll usually do is pick a thicker brush size and then draw the frame around it. And to draw straight lines, you can just hold shift while drawing. And then that should yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And then at this point, um, what I could do is press F6, which copies the current frame into a new frame. So um, if I'm just doing minimal changes, I wouldn't have to redraw everything. And I could just work with whatever I had from the previous frame. Um, but for the sake of making this harder than it needs to be, I'll just delete whatever I drew and draw a new frame. It's time I'll draw. Uh, I guess it's stick man. Or simple body. Same face. And make him say yo. Yo. All right. And once again, I'll draw the the outer frame. Hmm. The outside and the inside. All right, so I could um I have my two frames here, right? I could select them, and if you want to scroll through them, you could hold Shift and scroll using your mouse just to kind of scroll through them. And so I have the two frames right now, or the two panels, and then um, just for the sake of this tutorial, let's say that's all I need to make my comic. So I'll do F6 again on the last frame, and I'll delete everything. So what I do is um, I specify one um, frame as the master panel, where I organize all the other panels. So That'll be frame three, as you can see at the top here. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go back to frame one, 
Um, as you can see, when you select it, it automatically selects um, every object. So, but if it doesn't, you can pretty much do just Control A to um, select everything, and then Control C to copy. Go to your master frame, and then paste it, and then you can move it around to wherever you want. So I'll just leave it there. Now I'll go to frame two with our yo guy and copy back to frame three and then paste. And you can see that it kind of pasted to somewhere inconvenient, so we'll just move it below like that. And we'll we'll zoom out a bit. Um, shortcut for zooming out is holding control and shift and scrolling outwards or inwards to zoom in and out and so that's our that's our comic I guess and then you know we do T for text and I just usually sign my name at the bottom but you know art thieves eventually end up erasing it anyway <laughs> so that's it pretty much um I don't know if you guys want me to go more in depth with like um, how I color or whatever, just I don't know, just let me know. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, I can make as many panels as I want, but you know, you know how lazy I get. I try to keep it simple. All right, so once once that's done, I go to file, I go to export, and then I can export image, and then. I have it the a DOMX folder, so I'll go down to I'll put it in the random folder with all my doodles. I'll name it tutorial. And then you could just uh you could pick whatever format you want it in, keep it as JPEG, then save, and then you could change um the final resolution for that. I I like to keep it default, but it's up to you whatever. But I keep the quality 100, you know, just to keep it, make it look good. And then OK. <clears throat> and then it'll be wherever you saved it as. Domix folder. Where is it? And then random. And here it is, tutorial. And that's it. Then I'll go to Tumblr. Photo, choose file, and then I'll choose the comic, and then yeah, you guys make the video. So that's it for my tutorial. Um, I don't know. This is this is the fir first tutorial I've made. I don't really do commentaries, so I hope that was good enough. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. See you guys.